What's up guys, thanks for stopping in on the channel. Why do you have to beep during my intro truck? I swear to God, is that a check engine light? Okay. Okay. Here, let me turn on the light. So, um, let me turn on another one. Ooh, wait a minute, we got some light. I was in bed and Josh calls me and he's like, yo, there's a car meet going on at this place, blah, blah, blah. You should come up. And I'm like, no. And I'm like, well, maybe, hey, maybe I can make a vlog out of it. And I'm like, well, I do know this person's going to be there. That might be fun. So, hey, we're going to go try and make a vlog out of this uh, car meet. But I'm not really sure if it's going to work 100% or not. Um, good thing I'm always really energetic at nighttime. I always, in the mornings, no energy. Afternoon, eh, energy. Evenings, it gets up there. But nighttime, I wake up like a... I can smell your truck from over there. <laughs> <laughs> why are you wearing pajamas? Because he got me out of bed for this. That's why. So he gets me out of bed, and then he's like, yo, why are you wearing pajamas? I'm like, why the you got me out of bed. Oh, yeah, that's paint. That's, paint. that's straight up paint. That. Yeah, man. That's for a lot of respect. Thank you. Thank you. I heard you put a lot into this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And a lot more to come. A lot more to come. That's a reason to subscribe. Look at the mirrors on the 2500. No, those fold out like that. No, no, but he's got he's got one toe and yeah. one. Yeah, one one folded up, one folded down. Are you sure they look yeah. like two or no, not? No, no, they're no. I know that's those are the Cummins mirrors. They fold in and out like. No, that. those are definitely. Yeah, no, they're no. different mirrors. Like, See, yeah, yeah, yeah that's see, folded this, in. This, that's this, folded out. This kind of got away from me. Yeah, but. so this it goes up like that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It still looks fun. It gets a lot of people that don't know. One cool thing is on the vlog, we don't get to see the truck with the underglow on all the time because the vlogs aren't always at night. By the way, I hope y'all can hear me. That dude's playing his music super loud. But look at, look at the underglow. So I got the two strips in the grill right here and then one shining down up in there and stuff. And then like two big ones on the side and then two medium ones in the back and stuff. So it's always cool to see some underglow on the channel and stuff. And also the headlights, we don't get to see that on the vlog very often, but always excited to see it. Mm. Look how bad this bumper is getting. Yeah, that's getting pretty bad. I know. You need to fix your body mounts. It keeps... So once I do the body mounts, I've mentioned this on the vlog yesterday, but once I do the body mounts, it'll raise this up and it won't rub. But yeah. then I'll go 1350s and then it <laughs> and then it'll rub again. Yeah. <laughs> do the body mounts anyway, because yeah. you're gonna rub even worse once you do 1350s if you don't like so. it. Oh, oh, I know. Yeah. But the body mounts are 170 bucks. That's not bad. So I'll get that done soon. Hopefully. That's not bad. It's you know, you should have used the black wrap to wrap this that you got. I still have it. That's actually not a bad idea. Although, I don't know if you have quite enough. Because that's a weird shape, actually, and cutting a, out of that would yeah, be really... That's a good point. If you got another one, I bet you you could use that one by one to do That'd this really side. That'd be difficult though. And then one by one for that. Yeah, just really to cover the chrome. That'd be really difficult. Yeah. So what yeah, he's saying, if you didn't catch it, all these he's saying like, wrap the chrome in black. That'd be super, super difficult. But leave the letters and everything. That'd be hard. It'd be really difficult, because you had to get a knife in there that's like that small. I don't you know. probably have to take this badge off and do it. So how it comes off is it has a clip here, here, and here uh -huh. on the underside of it. And you can take it off and then the chrome has clips to that. Oh, so you could just take the chrome off and wrap it. Or you can take the chrome off and spray paint it black and then put it back on. And by spray paint, I mean like Rust-Oleum. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. But that black's really cool, the wrap. It is. It's got, cool. it's got like flake. flake. Yeah, it is. So you know one thing I'm noticing? I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's got so many swirl marks in the white. Already? <laughs> yeah, I see it. Oh yeah, they did your hand. Did they? This white isn't new. This white primarily isn't new. Only from like here down is new, and the white actually blends into the old white, and then all that white is new. They did a really good job with that. Oh, they did with the blending. You oh, can't yeah. even tell. So yeah, because the hood wasn't painted, most of this wasn't painted, and then pretty much everything else was except for like the top of the truck, yeah, like here. The roof is horrible. Yeah, every yeah I know the roof, the roof has like mold, mold on it. <laughs> <laughs> Project truck. The blends are like right here too, and you can't see. I literally I've been looking, you can't see it. but you can you can actually tell like the quality of the paint there and there. Whenever you don't look where it's blending, you look. Like like where it's here no, and you can boom. See, put a seat on it. This looks a little bit more yellow. And this boom, white? I mean, it's probably the lighting. I think it's the lighting. It's like, here. Because during the day, I don't notice it. Also, the truck, also the truck's filthy. Actually, yeah, it does kind of look yellowy. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. It's kind of a dumb meat, which all the meats are dumb around here, so I don't know why I didn't think it wouldn't be. So we're all gonna go to my house and, well not all, not all of us, not everyone from the meat, but uh, me and Josh and this, his friend Dane, we're gonna go hang out at the house and who knows, 
Maybe some content will come out of that. If not, I'll just mush two vlogs into one. Like, why not? Okay, so I wanted to show you guys something real quick. And I'm driving, so that's why I'm not really looking at you too much. But um, I wanted to show you guys something really quick because my blow-off valve on my turbo is ridiculously loud. But it's always been that way. So I wanted to show you guys real quick because I figured that's the one thing on the truck that I haven't really shown you all before. And it sounds really cool. See if you can hear it right now. I don't have any of the windows down except for the back one. Hear that? Now I'm gonna go buy a uh, I'm gonna go buy a wall, and I'm just gonna ramp on it because whenever you go buy a wall in this truck, it reflects because the exhaust is pointed to the side, and I'll have that back window open and stuff so you can hear it. It's gonna it's it sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. Listen, here's the blow off valve. See what I mean? It sounds crazy. And then whenever you're really high in the revs like that, it's really slow to let off. But like that blow off valve. Comment below if you've ever seen a blow or ever heard a blow off valve like that because most blow off valves are like more JDM type stuff. And it's kind of like a, just like it sounds literally like air through a straw. But that one has an actual sound to it and it kind of like screams, it's crazy. And I don't know why it's like that. And I don't know why any other turbo is like that, but it's only this turbo on the F250s, Duramaxes come, it's like anything. It's only this turbo that does it. And this is known as a bad turbo. And I love that blow off valve sound. So maybe one day when I get a new turbo, I'll swap out the blow off valves, which doesn't really sound like a great idea, but I just love how this turbo sounds. And I would love to keep the sounds of this turbo. It, well, okay, only the blow off valve sound. So maybe, maybe there's a way to do a different turbo because the turbo for this truck is actually really bad for the truck. It's not, it doesn't give enough power that the truck wants. It, uh, it's made of aluminum and so it, it breaks apart easy. They're unreliable, blah, 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 blah. They can't produce a lot of power. So it's not good for the truck. So a lot of people upgrade the turbos on these, which they're supposed to do, but it gets rid of that blow up valve. And I love that blow up valve. So I'm wondering if there's a way to take that blow up valve and put it on the next turbo. I don't know, maybe it, maybe it fits, maybe it doesn't. I haven't really even looked at the blow-off valve to see, but it sounds so cool, I just want it. So comment below if you know anything about blow-off valves and uh, you know how to, if that will work or not. Also, co again, comment if you've ever heard a blow-off valve like that, and let me know where you heard it from. It sounds so cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. I thought I was about to rub. So one thing about this truck is like the bumper rubs on the tires every now and then because the body mounts are out and I need to put the body mounts back in so it lifts the body another inch off the frame so then the bumper isn't lower so then it won't rub pretty much. But it always like just, it always feels like it's about to rub whenever I hit bumps and stuff. And sometimes it actually does. So it's like, it's so cringy. I hate to use that word because so, that word is so cringy. But um, okay, so we got a little open road right here. Let's see if we can get some cool blow up valve sounds. Ooh, that one was loud. So the one thing it's like the more throttle you give it, the more turbo PSI you have and the louder and faster the blow up valve is going to go off. And then the less you have, the slower it's gonna be. Now watch, I'm gonna give it a little bit of throttle and the blow off valve is gonna be slower. And then I'm gonna give it a lot of throttle and let off quick and then it'll be a lot faster. I don't know if you heard that, but instead of like, Doo! it was like, Doo! Doo! then there's that. By the way, the junkyard right here, my old Mercedes is in that junkyard. We ought to, um, I've visited it there before. Uh, maybe next time we're at the junkyard, I'll show you guys the Mercedes. See, whenever you get really high in the RPMs like that, it doesn't do the blow-up valve, but this is a weird vlog, isn't it? It's kind of strange. I just wanted to show you all my blow-up valve, that's all. Ooh, that one felt weird. It like downshifted right after I did it. So with that being said, thanks for stopping in on the channel. Go and subscribe, hit that notification bell, browse the rest of the videos on the channel. My TikTok gang, I see you guys coming over here from TikTok and making the channel even bigger. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for the crazy growth in subscribers lately that, that we literally more than tripled our subscribers in like two days. And the Subaru video is doing super well. So thank you guys for that. And yeah, 
I'm out. <laughs>